Welcome visual arts students. It's Miss Petzelin again. I'm making a video for you in unit five, and we're looking at the second journal project for this, Pop Art Artists. So we're going to uh, scroll down to unit five, and we're looking at, sorry, Pop Art Portrait 5.4. And this is a great description for this project. Uh, remember, it's a journal project, so it is worth 30 points. This one's going to take you two to three hours. You're going to take a selfie. Um, so you need a camera on your phone or something like that. Pencil eraser, black marker, ruler, and colored pencils. Um, taking inspiration from Andy Warhol and his um, pop art prints, you're going to take a selfie of yourself. And remember, you're going to use your phone editor and make sure that there's a high contrast. Um, and then you're going to um, save that. You can save it into the Canva photo, photo editor. And then you're going to um, crop it to like three to four inches. And then you're going to go into your journal, a full page, and sometimes it might take two pages. And you're going to um, use a window or a phone tablet light from behind, and you're going to actually trace your photo onto the page four times in a neat grid. So you're going to use um, a ruler to set up your guidelines for the four portraits that you're going to do. And remember, you're going to trace that object. So you kind of like hold it up to the light and you're going to trace over it um, once you have your your photo that you can print out and you can kind of trace onto it. And then you're going to um, outline the main parts of your portrait with your Sharpie marker after you have your pencil lines set. And then from there, um, with your inked outlines, then you're going to start coloring. And you want to pick four color schemes. One's going to be lifelike. One is going to be um, unrealistic. And then two are going to be of your own choice, which could include a black and white or grayscale image. So if we look at these Mon Marilyn Monroe pop art prints, screen prints, you can take inspiration from these or just make up your own color schemes. And then once you're done all that, your, your rubric is going to be grading you on how well you follow the directions in terms of tracing and making the grid for the portrait, um, the coloring in terms of the different color schemes, your, pers your creativity, and then of course, always your care and effort. And remember, this is going to take about two to three hours to do it. So we want to see that reflected in the project. Good luck.